Hi Libra and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. We're going to take a look at the incoming messages coming for you here um, for the next month. These are going to be general so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they're predicting for you. These messages are for Libra Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching. swords here, the nine of cups, the lover's card, the four of pentacles. Okay. Bottom row, magician, the six of wands, page of pentacles, and the king of swords here. Okay, um, nine okay there's something very con um i mean you've got two nines here so i feel like there's some significance there um watch out for the number nine for some of you maybe something special unfolds here you could have like incoming communication from someone here um, on the ninth of this month it could be nine days nine weeks here from this reading here nine months even um there could be communication something here i feel like unfolds here something significant unfolds or some sort of turn of events or some sort of um it could be some happenstance something happens that i feel like um it could take place like on the ninth or around as i've mentioned you know nine days from nine days or weeks or even months from this reading or it could also happen like during 9 a.m or 9 p.m here for a lot of you there is going to be inc incoming communication from an ex or from someone who's ghosted you in the past okay someone who might have ended things abruptly with you or someone whom has completely fallen off your radar this person comes back into the picture however they come back into the picture and I feel like you're you're not all that happy though to hear from them not because not because you don't want to hear from them but because you finally moved on or you finally made peace with the fact that this person did what they did and now they come back into the picture and it's all of a sudden like reopening flesh wounds all over again so um just a heads up, so it's, it's very likely that a lot of you will be hearing from someone who, I feel like they've hurt you, they might have even betrayed you, they might have even broken your trust, like they just disrespected you by ghosting you, you know, going Casper on you. So this person comes back, I feel like, for a lot of you. I'm also seeing that there is something here that's um, really bothering you, Libra, and I feel like it's best you need to get it off your chest. So do what it is you have to do. Share it with someone if it's a secret you're guarding and if you feel like it's, you know, um, weighing too heavy on you or if it's like something that you feel like you need to tell someone but you, you know, aren't necessarily communicating with them. I feel like it's best that you, because it's some, like, you know, the Nine of Swords is feelings of guilt or shame. It's obviously something that's keeping you up at night or it's something that sort of um, has an effect on your dreams or on your daily life and your daily functions here. Um, it's taking away its um, happiness, like your peace of, um, it's threatening your peace of mind, it's threatening your happiness here. So I feel like you need to deal with it because there's a sense of repetition here with the Nine of Swords. Because if you don't deal with it, Libra, sorry if you're shaking the camera, it's not going to go away. It's not. It's only going to build up on you until there's going to be this vol volcanic ex uh, eruption. Um, so whatever it is that, you know, any feelings of guilt, shame or regret, you have to deal with that, okay? And if there's something here that you need to offload to others, um, you do have people around you who are willing to listen, you know, you've got loving family, friends who are willing to support you. So offload to someone here. You can also seek professional advice. Um, do whatever it is that you have to be to sort of, to, you have to do in order to sort of put you in a better place here. Um, I see that, I see, I feel like for a lot of you, there's certain wish manifest, there's, certain wish manifestations or like uh, wishes coming true here this month so you're in a very powerful manifesting mode and I feel like um, there are certain things that you wished for or certain things that you wanted are coming true one of which is this communication um, it is going to be difficult hearing from this person but I feel like a part of you has always hoped on some level that you will hear from them so there are little things here that I feel like that will happen like sprinkled throughout the month that are manifestations of initially your imagination or your thought process so you will see you know certain things here that i feel like will manifest for you this month and that's because your energy is in alignment with those very things strong romantic energy for some of you you're manifesting your ideal partner or you're manifesting a relationship here 
um, you're manifesting something for yourself. So very strong romantic energy with the lovers card. Some of you, I feel like you could find yourself falling in love with someone, or someone could find yourself falling. You know, they could find themselves falling in love with you here. This person, this situation that you have, this relationship, this connection feels very much like a soulmate connection. It feels like a dream come true. It feels like a wish come true here. Okay, strong. Um, very strong manifesting energy here. The lovers also um, will, uh, will the lovers asks you to make a choice here. Some of you, you're going to be put in a position where you have to decide and you have to make a choice. Maybe this is the energy that's keeping you up, or this is the energy that is bothering you here. Um, I feel like you need to make a choice here between maybe two different lovers or between, you know, um, love. And career there's a choice that needs to be made make sure you make this choice when you're um, in a more like clearer state of mind when you have that mental clarity and that mental awareness around this situation so don't make a choice don't make this decision a choice out of haste or don't feel pressured okay do it when you're ready and ultimately just remember when you commit to that choice you're also committing to that uh, the, the circumstances the, the consequences of that choice so just keep that in mind uh, I'm seeing some insecurities. I feel like some insecurities are really going to be flaring up. You may be dealing with certain people in your life, like certain romantic energies who sort of mirror your insecurities. Um, and that's that's like a way of them trying to help you work through, you know, any inadequacies or insecurities that you might feel. For others of you, I feel like there's something here. It could be something someone says that I feel like it really leaves you feeling a little bit like quite guarded, very closed off here. Um... It's a hoarding type of energy. For some of you, I feel like you're still hoarding someone's energy. Maybe this person that comes back here. I feel like maybe, you know, you're still, you're holding on to something too tightly. Um, there's a problem with that. If this, if you need to hold on to this thing or this person too tightly because you fear losing it, okay? That in itself is unhealthy. You should never have to hold on to something so tightly, you know, clutch onto it for your dear life. Um, so you might want to untangle any emotional issues there because I feel like they could be the barrier they could be what's stopping you from certain things like relationships or commitments here okay um, I do feel like there's someone here okay someone here either comes back in your life okay someone who's ghosted to you or someone who's disappeared or someone might disappear here someone that you talk or this person who's ghosted to you comes back into the picture but then I feel like they ghost you again okay so just a heads up someone who ghosts others has no empathy um, and has a complete lack of regard for other people's feelings and if they did it once they probably almost certainly will do it again so just keep that in mind here um, for a lot of you I feel like I'm seeing something here I'm seeing a, a, a very big turning point for you and I'm seeing that there is a relationship here or a romantic connection that I feel like is going to progress okay because I see a lot of forward momentum a lot of forward moving here so I see successful relationships I see successful moves being made in relationships here I'm also seeing incoming communication for a lot of you I feel like there's a long awaited message that finally comes in here look it could be that this person comes back this person who's ghosted you they come back with the message but you're taking on the king of swords energy because this is your energy and I feel like you're calling them out for it okay you're gonna you're taking them accountable for what they did you're gonna hold them accountable but you're also gonna hold yourself accountable I feel like some of you um, yeah, you're embodying the King of Swords energy because I feel like this is you responding to this message. This message that comes in, I feel like you're asking all the right questions and you're telling this person, perhaps you're telling them what, what you wanted to tell them all along here. But um, it's important, yeah, to, to take on that King of Swords energy because I feel like you're cutting through any confusion, you're cutting through any, you know, um, misunderstandings or um, you want clarity and I feel like this is you, you know, you're finally seeking the clarity that you deserve here. Um, but a long-awaited message from someone, I feel like, and this could be entirely separate for some of you, this message that comes in, it might come in from a potential romantic prospect. Look, so someone who, maybe it's a past energy, someone whom you've had something with in the past, like you've had history with this person, and this person comes back, and I feel like there's room to rediscover yourself with this person, or there's room to rediscover what the two of you had here. Okay, to re-explore, rediscover, revisit things here, okay? And I feel like maybe the second time around is actually even better, Libra. 
because maybe they've gone off, they've done some growing, some maturing, some changing, some trans, um, trans, some transforming, and now they've come back a bigger, better, you know, more ready person here. So um, I feel like there's divine intervention at play here. There really is. So someone comes back into the picture here, or someone new comes into the picture here, and I'm seeing that there's a lot of growth, okay, and a lot of growth for this connection. And this is something that you've manifested. This is something that you've always wanted. This is this is your work you've manifested it after all here all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages uh, so stay tuned bye for now